you guys want to know how to cope with rejection and why is it so painful? Like, it's ridiculous, isn't it? And I know that this happens every single day to somebody. So across the world, if you're feeling rejected, so is someone else, so don't feel alone. But that's the main thing is that everyone does get rejected and if you've been rejected and have felt that pain, just type me here, let's see. Just type away here, me, if you have felt rejected before. And it's, it's, yep, so everyone has. We've got four, five, six people that have, yep, 100%, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, amazing, 13. Everyone's felt rejected before. So it is one big point that, you know, don't feel alone when this happens because we've all had it. We've all had it done to us. And you know what you've got to do is you've got to take back your life because the longer you hold on, um, to rejection the longer that it's gonna you know drag you down and that's absolutely fine but do you want to be dragged down forever or do you want to move on do you want to kind of build you as a person and get over the rejection because I know I do I don't want to be stuck in rejection for a long time so you've got to take control you've got to have control of whatever's happening and take that control in your life um, whether it's in a personal relationship that you feel rejected, whether it's a friendship that you feel rejected, whether it's in business you feel rejected, whatever it is, it might even be a sports team that you feel rejected in. And you've just got to literally take control of it. And what you do by that is you do what you enjoy. So I'm going to give you three amazing tips today that are going to help you, but one of the important things to understand is that we actually feel physical pain and that's something that's scientifically proven that when we feel rejected it's like being really hurt and you know our body actually feels and reacts as if it's a physical pain um so obviously that causes a lot of emotions when you're physically hurt um that's painful and it's just how our bodies react we're all human um so it's one of them big, big things that we need to concentrate on, you know, building that up and feeling better because it really hurts and it's not nice. And no matter what you're going through, just be aware that we've all been there. So the three tips today and number one is you've got to beef up your self-esteem. So beef it up. You know, you need to feel better. So if you've not watched my self-esteem video, you've got to go there and do it. And you've literally got to think, I need to feel better about me because that's going to drive me forward. So you've got to think logical. So think about it is, what do you, what do you see? So what is logical about what you're seeing right now? Is it a normal reaction? Is someone rejecting you because maybe um, they don't understand what, you're all about they don't understand you and if they maybe understood you a little bit better they'd maybe accept you are you getting rejected by friends because they're jealous of you are you getting rejected because um you're just different you know what's going on so understand the logic of it because when when you have something rational and logical about it you're like oh it's only because they don't understand what i'm talking about that i'm feeling rejected or you know what actually i'm probably better off without them so be logical about it um, what's your accomplishment? So what have you achieved already? You know, concentrate on that. If you've had, you know, really good friendships and you've still got really good friendships, concentrate on those. Um, the same with business. You know, what's your accomplishments that you've already achieved? Have you grown confidence? Have you um, stepped outside of your comfort zone and you feel like, actually, I'm achieving things that I wouldn't usually achieve? So what have you achieved already? Because that's going to help with your um, self-esteem and build you up. So you've got to believe in you. You'd have to believe in you because if you don't believe in you, no one else will. And you are the most important person in this. So believe in yourself. And you've even got to understand your self-worth. So are you more worthy than the situation you're in? Probably. Probably. And you've just got to understand that. So that's your tip one is beef up that self-esteem. Let yourself know everything that you've achieved. If you need to write it down, write it down. And it can be a go-to page. So you go back to it and say, look, I know that I've achieved X, Y, and Z. I know that I'm awesome. I know that actually I'm doing pretty good. So I don't need 
um, to feel down when I'm rejected because I've got a lot of acceptance elsewhere and that's the page you're going to go back to. So number two is you've got to treat your injuries. So this physical pain is really painful and if you'd hurt yourself, you'd broken your arm, you would treat that as a physical injury and you need to do exactly the same with rejection. So when you feel rejected, you feel hurt, down, tired, um, exhausted, you're probably emotionally stressed, um, you might not want to eat because you're just drained of it all and that's the opposite thing you should do because it's a physical injury so you need to treat it, treat it like it is and what you're going to do is you're going to treat it by doing exercise because exercise gives you endorphins, you start releasing those happy hormones, whether it's just a walk and um, you're going to also relax. So you're going to go see friends, you're going to spend some time relaxing, it might be going swimming, it might be going for a spa. It, you also need to make sure that you're sleeping properly because if you're not sleeping then you're also going to be increasing that physical pain because you're going to be drained and your body can't cope when it's drained. Um, these are really, really important, but also eating well. If you're not eating well, then that's going to make you feel tired and it's going to make you feel exhausted and everything's going to get on top of you. And if you're pregnant, feel okay that it's okay to be emotional because it's going to happen. No matter what you do, it's going to happen. So eat well, exercise and also get some sleep because that's going to massively boost you and it's going to help you treat those physical pains. And just be around people that actually do love you because I'm sure that you can find at least three people that think the world of you. So give them a call, you know, get out there, speak to new people. And number three is uh, be proactive. So join clubs, meet people, go out there, get um, involved in other stuff. And, you know, it is hard, but actually, what if you, for one person that might reject you, you might find 10 new friends. So I know that was a fact, 10 new friends. <laughs> um, so you, yeah, go out there, meet new people. So you've got three amazing tips there, guys. You've got beef up your self-esteem. So do everything you can to feel better. Then you've got to treat your wounds. So go get some sleep, go eat, eat properly, do some exercise, be around people. And three, be proactive, join clubs, join groups, get to know more people and be happy about it. Because at the end of the day, we all have problems and we all get rejected. And one thing to let you know is that for every person that rejects you, you're going to have the most amazing friendships elsewhere. And this is a bonus tip. So make sure you take it and use it and I call it a bonus takeaway. And what I just want to explain to you guys is that if you calculate, so just today, how many times you get rejected, how many times those people come back. So you, you might be in a relationship with somebody, but I guarantee they'll come back. Once they see you with an amazing self-esteem, once they see you treating those wounds, actually looking after yourself, and then... Once they see you meeting new people, they're going to be back. Trust me. And friends as well. Once they see you succeeding and being amazing, they'll be back. And it goes throughout life. So write down everyone who rejects you. Just write in a little book. You you rejected me. But then on the other side, you're going to write down who was there for you. And see how that changes in a year's time because I guarantee they'll be back. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Periscope and if you did, it would be lovely to hear from you. Please um, swipe up and to the left if you are sharing this video with lots of people. Go and share it with your teams and your families and if you want to know more about what I do, please follow me and message me on Facebook at Real Hannah Godfrey. So guys, go and enjoy your day. Go and treat those wounds. Go and get rejected because you're going to have so much amazing more support around you. And we will see you all soon. Bye.